this is the trader investor in this video i want to talk about uh, volume profile in relation to uh, supply zone demand zone and i'll tell you in a little bit why it's important to look at uh, the volume profile but before i dive into uh, the analysis part let me explain what volume profile is to me and how i use it so volume profile and depending on the type of uh, indicators that you use right now i'm using a volume profile that is based on the visible range uh, the action the price action of the visible range so if i zoom in and out that you'll see the volume profile changes so it's important to understand the exact specific details of the volume profile that you use so what i want to see is in in the recent swing whether swing high or swing low in the recent swing which is this visible range that i am putting here what the profile tells me is where has the most number of buyers and sellers interacted that is the point that is of high interest to me so the red line shows point of control again meaning this is where the significant amount of time has been sent has been spent and then the yellow and blue bars represent the depth of that interaction so as we go further away you'll see less and less volume has been spent but there's been times where it has increased so it's not you know it's not a, a smooth linear uh, interaction it's a different price point different levels of volume and different buyers and sellers are interested to get in or out of the market so if you think about that and as you see on the chart this area the 469 area is where we see from the current range is where we see the most action what does that mean that means there were people who were willing to buy and there were people who were willing to sell that's that's just how how it works right if there's no sellers then they, they can't be any buyers however what follows after that in terms of price action tells us who was in control so in this instance a lot of people sold and drove the price down a lot more whether it's retailers or institutions a lot more sold and drove the price down why is that important well that is important because what is going to happen is people who bought here are hurting they're in pain they're feeling the pain all this pain here all this red box you see this is pain for them and when price drives down from a level that is our supply zone right please refer back to my supply and demand videos that is our supply zone so if we're considering a supply zone in the hourly chart in this area if that's what we are considering a supply zone and the volume profile lines up pretty closely with the uh, supply zone that I drew right the supply zone is where the point the last point of consolidation before price dropped and so this volume profile lines up pretty closely uh, with that area so what that tells me is we have a supply zone up here price has been driving down so these people that are hurting somebody had to buy for those to sell right somebody had believed oh i missed this move i'm thinking it's going to do this i'm entering so all those people are in pain so why is that important again why is that important we know from supply and demand when price comes back here it has a tendency to reject it now we combine that with other things we have to have the big picture in an uptrend I normally use the supply zone as a first target area an area where market could possibly pause before resuming 
I don't use it to enter short, right? My style is I enter short when, uh, in a, when we're in a downtrend and we hit a supply zone. I enter long when we're in an uptrend and we hit a demand zone. That's how I enter. So in this area, this could act as a strong resistance for two reasons. One is a supply zone, meaning there's a lot of supply to keep selling. And two, there'll be added pressure to sell when these people who are in pain, they want to get out. As soon as they see green, they want to get out. And that creates more selling pressure. The depth of that selling pressure, we don't know, right? It could continue to do this. But at least these people who were right, who were not patient, they were either stopped out if they had tight stops or if they didn't use any stops, they were out here as soon as they say, ah, oh, I'm break even, I had waited two, three days, I want out. That's what trading is about is, you know, having that consistency, but knowing when to get in and when to get out. But for me, because I wait for demand zone for entry, I wait for demand zone, I'm not rushing to enter just anywhere. So my entry, my good entry in this instance is here's a good consolidation area. Here's a good consolidation area. This is where I want to enter, right? And I will wait for chart pattern, candlestick pattern to give me that confirmation to enter. Sometimes I might blindly enter a put position, a cash covered put position, because I want to just collect premium thinking, okay, confluence. We have a demand zone, we have a trend line, that's a good confluence, and we're away from significant uh, volume profile if I want to add that, and so be okay with that position. So when you combine all of this, this way you take an entry. Now with this entry, when price comes to supply zone, or when price comes to point of control, when price comes to the area of the volume profile where most of the transaction has occurred this is where I will consider at least taking partial profits here at least taking partial profits here so this is why adding the volume profile is very beneficial like we, we, I'm not saying just trade from the profile I'm just saying if you combine the volume profile with your supply zone with your demand zone with that combination, then you have a solid entry, a solid exit. If you were long from down here, you were long from down here, and you see now a lot of people are spending more time in this area, then it's time to consider an exit. Uh, if we were to do, uh, if you were to do this, uh, and here is our entry area, but I don't want to see the highs. If this w was a time where we entered, okay, this is where we want to go long. This was the area where most volume was spent. As you can see, this is where people were selling or buying. In this case, they were right because it went in the right direction for them. If you follow, that's great. So here, I want to know when is my next target to exit because volume profile every day, it changes. Every day this profile changes. Every day that you move up, this profile changes. So you want to see, has there been any changes? Has there been any changes? Boom, you see this changes. So when you see this happening here, when you see this price happening here, as you tighten your uh, range of view, you'll start to see where most of that uh, action is taking place. That's a critical part, right? Is being able to identify that action, being able to identify that action so that you can have a significant area of exit. Oh, okay, I can consider, I've been long for a while, I've been long since down here, I can consider exiting my position, right? I can consider exiting my position. That's the critical part of this volume profile.
combine it with demand zone, combine it with supply zone, combine it with significant areas of support, like a trend line uh, or a horizontal support and resistance. When you combine those, that's where you will see potential entries and exits. Right? In this instance, like I said, if you enter down here, because we are at a confluence of trend line, demand zone, you have an entry, then you can consider exiting when we come back to this zone or at least exit half of your position. So I just wanted to combine an additional resource for you to add for volume profile. But as you can see, as going through this video, depending on the range, this volume profile is very sensitive to that range. It is looking at this whole range and saying, where has the most transaction occurred? Where has the most transaction occurred in this whole range? So as for me, as I enter a position, I start to be very specific what range I want to see. I want to see the last swing low to current price. This is what I want to see. Now this tells me where pot potential strong areas are for me to consider exiting. So if I play around, if I play around with this, uh, this is just a bonus. So entry area somewhere here. And I just want to see from here to the right, if that's all I want to see. And then I just keep it this way, right? If I keep doing this and keep tightening, even if I want to just keep tightening, just keep tightening to see where has price been, right? So as you can see around this day, this is where it spend most of the time. So, you know, would I take an exit if I see this? Uh, possibly, but I would wait for some sort of a significant pullback. For me, a significant pullback, I use the Fibonacci retracement, anything deeper than the 38.2% retracement, I will consider as a significant pullback. Uh, and then I will use the vo volume profile. As you can see here, we did not even go to the 23.6%. So price just kept driving up. So when price keeps driving up, there's nothing really to consider as an exit for me, at least until I start to see significant pullbacks. Then based on where I am price wise from my entry to current price, I haven't seen any significant pullback. So price keeps going up now here. Here's a significant pullback, right? We're at the 38.2% retracement. Now, along the way, even though I don't see a significant pullback and I don't exit along the way, you know, when I'm playing stocks, not options, options, I have targets that I exit all, all the way up. I don't just keep holding forever. But when I'm entering those stock positions, I look for demand zones and I when I get to the demand zone, I'm entering, is there an option? play using uh, cash covered puts or long calls, whichever the case is, long puts. I'm using that but so as I get to demand zone, but I look at the volume profile. Once I enter a position like this, I want to know where is my exit for my option place. Where is my exit? For stocks, I usually plan to hold them much, much longer. So I don't worry about that. I know this has been a little bit complicated uh, video, but if you just really think about the volume profile, this is where transactions are occurring. And based on the range that you see, this is how much interaction has occurred in this range, right? The greater the interaction, the longer these bars are. And the most significant would be shown with the red line. So if you uh, keep looking at that, and based on where you are currently, at least you can use this as a target uh, to tighten stops, to exit, and so on. All right, everyone, take care for now, and I will see you in the next video.